What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Today, I have Machine Gun. This is one of the new shop toys. Uh, I actually just had an M92 PAP just laying around for a while. Wasn't doing anything with it. So, uh, you know what? We decided to unbreak it. Because the ATF broke it to get it into the country. So, you know, we had to unbreak it. Restored it to her former glory with an underfolding stock and, of course, a third pin. Now, I've shot plenty of these in the past, and the one thing that never fails is out of this 10 inch barrel, it is a flamethrower. Because 10 and a half inches is where the magic happens. Anyways, I think this gun's gonna be a lot of fun to shoot, and later on, might even break out the drum, play with that a little bit. Cue the montage. Party on, Garth. Alrighty, now that we've got that out of our system, time to get up all in them nerdy guts, see what makes this baby tick. But before we do that, quick word from our sponsor who makes videos like this possible. Today's sponsor, USCCA. If you're like me and you carry a concealed handgun, I would definitely recommend signing up with USCCA. USCCA exists to give law-abiding gun owners like you the knowledge, training, and the legal protection that you need when you need it the most. A self-defense situation is not a place that you want to get caught unprepared. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the links in the description and in the pinned comment where you can check out USCCA. We appreciate their support of the channel. Back to the range. All right, first, let's unload, show clear. Uh, funny little aside about this one, the way that this was made, because uh, this is one of the commercial import uh, M92s from Zastava. Uh, Zastava, Zastava, something like that. Sue me, I wasn't born in Serbia. But because of that, the uh, selector stop plate here is actually a little longer. I don't know why they do that, but they do. So uh, this gun is capable of being semi-auto, but as long as that plate is there, uh, this is a full auto only gun. So this is either on safe or it is a fucking machine gun. Aside from the underfolder, that really is kind of what sets this apart, and the caliber, of course, 7.62 by 39 this really does look like a crank. There's a couple reasons for that. One, booster, the uh, beefy gas block, front sight block combo, shorty barrel with a shorter gas system, and the hinged top cover, which I think is just the coolest thing. Yeah, when it wants to stay open. This right here, uh, you don't have to take your dust cover off. It's actually pinned in place and you have access to all of the meat and potatoes of your gun. So, taking this apart, you got your recoil spring here, your bolt carrier, your bolt, uh, and you see, as you see, the gas piston there is a little bit shorter than the standard AK. Got a little bit of a shorter gas system just because a typical AK is a 16 inch barrel. This one's only like, I think a 10 and a half, 10 and a quarter, or something like that. Internals, fire control group, looks exactly the same as uh, your run of the mill fire control group, uh, except for uh, the auto sear that is there. Um, we can do that. I'm a 07 FFL SOT. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing that unless you are as well. Scout's honor. I mean, unless you like really hate your dog. But yeah, with this dust cover up now, we can push this lever and our gas tube comes off. Nothing fancy about that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the entirely field strip gun. Very, very simple. Just uh, like all things should be gas tube back on, pull the carrier group back in, recoil spring back in, and for the most satisfying part, slap that top cover back down, insert your magazine, and you are ready to water the Chechens. This is honestly kind of small PP energy. I mean, 30 round mags are great, but drums are better. So this is a drum magazine. This is 7.62 by 39, of course, and it holds 75 rounds. Loaded a little bit different. These, uh, unless it's a top loader drum, which are kind of rare, these things actually load from the rear. There's a Catholic joke in there somewhere. So this is what it looks like here. This is where the ammo goes in, but first to prep, I gotta reset this. 
this is uh, the follower there. All right, now we're ready to start loading ammo. This is gonna take a while. So this is about 75-ish rounds of 7.62 by 39, or as it's known in 2021, uh, my retirement plan. But now that we have this fully loaded, we're gonna go ahead and close this up top. Shut the clamps, and now we have to wind this baby up. So you grab this little tab here, and we just start spinning. There's a certain amount of clicks you need to go to. I just click until you can feel it bottom out. Is that the right way to do it? I don't know, but it's worked pretty well so far. Ah, there it is. That feels like it's gonna start breaking, so let's go ahead and stop. But while I was winding it, I'm putting spring tension on this so that uh, while it's firing, uh, that spring tension's slowly gonna be released in the form of feeding these rounds. And as it spins, that little mechanism inside spins, the nose of the bullets actually follow a track on the back side or the front side of the drum, which is super cool. It's just a really weird design, but it usually works, usually. So now we've gotten to my favorite part where we mag dump into trash. So out on our berm here, we have uh, six bottles of sparkling water and as a finisher, a two liter bottle of Code Red Mountain Dew. It may look like we just raided our pantry for, for shit that we could shoot at the last minute, but I guarantee you that's, that, that's not the case. All right, good talk. All righty, let her rip. Oh man, that was fun, and I, the drum didn't load all the way. Fuck! What's even more awkward is we had one survivor. So uh, let's go ahead and take care of that. Sweet. That was fucking killer. Uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying this setup on this gun. Uh, I think this configuration is what uh, our urban city friends refer to as the Draco with the titty. So for whatever that's worth. Anyhow, this is just a cool little shot machine gun. You'll probably be seeing more of this in the future or uh, you, you may never see it again. I don't know. What do you guys want to see? We're working on some cool shop projects that I think are going to be pretty neat. Uh, it, there's just, I mean, there's cool traditional, uh, traditional machine guns, I guess, and then there's cool weird shit that we're working on, so, get a little bit of both coming up. Just tell me if you guys have a project that you'd like to see us work on, let me know. And if you say the AK-50, I will delete this channel. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. Be sure to subscribe and click that notification icon so you can join the hashtag AKG notification squad. You can enter to win cool merch from Bunker Branding. I appreciate it, you guys, and as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon. Like us, put his eyes to the top. But I can't let you get stuck, get stuck, get stuck, get stuck, get stuck, get stuck. Oh my god, it is so cold out here. This booster <laughs> feels fucking amazing. <laughs>